Hi my loves, welcome back. And if you are new here, welcome here in this channel. We'll talk about relaxed hair care, hair growth, protective styling, and so much more concerning the hair topic in general. So if you know you're interested in this type of content, please consider subscribing to join the family. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys an update on my relaxer. So if you didn't know, I just relaxed my hair a few days ago. I already uploaded that video, uploaded the relaxer routine, my neutralizer shampoo routine, deep conditioning routine, air drying detangling blow drying flat iron and all that so if you missed all those good stuff you can check out my previous videos to see those routines so in today's video like i said i'm going to be giving you guys an update on my relaxer routine so the main reason why i did that relaxer was because it was a corrective relaxer like i didn't stretch for so long because i wanted to do a curative relaxer previously before now i usually stretch within six months to one year the last relaxer before this recent one was a one year relaxer stretch which i shared with you guys but this time around i actually decided to go for three months which was like 12 weeks but i eventually relaxed my hair at 15 weeks so if you watch the relaxer routine after my one year relaxer stretch you already know that i had lots of unprocessed hair underprocessed hair from that relaxer routine and that was because i got a lot of new growth from the one year relaxer stretch i think about seven inches of new growth so i had so much new growth like so much inches to deal with i was not able to get everything during the relaxer application process that and that was how i came out with under processed and unprocessed hair so this relaxer routine i just did a few days ago is actually my first time doing a corrective relaxer i have never never had unprocessed or other process in my entire hair journey i know back then when i first started my hair journey and i was using regular strength relaxer my hair was kind of under processed but it was not that under processed i don't really know how to put this so that you understand my hair retained a lot of texture but i would not say it was under processed compared to this one that i had to correct because the difference was so so marked if you watched that video you understand what i'm talking about so that's why i had to do a corrective relaxer and i'm so so happy that everything came out fine you know being a first time and all that i was actually very very anxious about the routine because i didn't actually watch any video research about how to do a corrective relaxer and all that i just jumped in and decided to carry out a corrective relaxer process on my hair without researching and all that which is actually very wrong guys don't be like me before you carry out any routine on your hair make sure you research make sure you watch videos i think i just got lucky or i think i was confident because i have been relaxing my hair myself there is no way i would have done a corrective relaxer myself if for example i have not been relaxing my hair before like myself so as you know i have not been going to hair salons for the past three to four years i have literally been carrying out every routine on my hair by myself so i am very very good with my hair when it comes to self relaxer application processes so maybe that's what gave me the confidence to go on to carry out this corrective relaxer routine and as you guys can see my hair looks better in the form of other processed or unprocessed hair again i'm very very happy with the results i got from this relaxer routine my hair is looking so healthy so shiny i don't know if it's because i just like missed my hair being straightened out like this but i so love the state of my hair right now my hair was straight i know proud to my relaxed application process but it was not this straight because come on i just got a silk press so of course this would be more straighter there's what is called heat training i don't know if i should start heat training my hair just one of the things that usually pop into my head when i think of making changes to my regimen but that's going to be a topic for another video like heat training and all that has any of you done heat training on your hair before if you don't know what heat training is it's basically a process where you get your hair to like get used to be in a straightened form due to multiple heat stylings like multiple flat iron so you flat iron at more regular intervals to get your hair used to being straight so the whole idea or the whole purpose of heat training your hair is to get your hair straight or to keep your hair straight consistently but like i said that's going to be a topic for another day it's just one of the things that pop into my head when i want to make changes whenever i think of bringing something new into my regimen but I don't know if i'm gonna try that now very soon so this is how my hair is currently looking like at the moment as you can see everything is fresh 
healthy silky shiny and dark if you have not watched my video on how i got my hair dark please do check it out so this is the state of my hair currently there is no form of under processed or unprocessed hair everything is relaxed right now and if you watched my relaxer routine you know that i kind of overdid the corrective relaxer because i didn't want to hear stories like i know i relaxed a lot of inches that day i can't remember the last time my hair was relaxed in that manner like relaxing so many inches if you watch my previous relax application process you get the difference like i usually apply the relaxer to only my new growth which is usually about i think three to four inches but that day i actually relaxed a lot of hair and that was because i was trying to get on the under processed and unprocessed hair i didn't want my hair to come out after that relaxer application routine with a part of it looking under processed again so that's why i had to really go in and get everything i know i was extra like if you watch that video you understand what i'm talking about but thank god everything came out fine and after all this like this whole journey i don't think i'm going to go on a one year relaxer stretch again it was actually a very very nice challenge a very nice journey i actually got a lot of results from that relaxer stretch i retained a lot of new growth but but it was stressful like it was so, so when i say stressful it was stressful if not even for the use of protective styles i'm so sure my hair would have taught me a lesson i would have never forgotten because it was actually protective styles that helped me manage my new growth for so long but even with that that relaxer stretch ah goodness it was stressful from managing the new growth to having to relax so much inches of hair like it was so much and you guys saw the result you guys saw the effects of that stress i came out with under pressure and unprocessed hair because i was not able to get everything so i don't want that to happen again at least not anytime soon i don't know if i'm going to stretch my hair for one year again later in the future just for the fun and for the fact that i love partaking in hair challenges and all that but for now nah i don't think i'm going to go on that again for now i think i'm just going to stick with like from six months to eight months if i relax my hair too early it may be like four months five months but for now let's just say six months to eight months so yeah that is the relaxer update for my under processed hair and last thing i want to talk about is my hair trim i don't know if i've mentioned it before in a previous video but i know i told you guys i was going to trim my hair after this relaxer routine but i ended up not doing that i know i know i am so so undecisive i can be so undecisive when it comes to my hair shrimp but for now my hair is doing fine my ends are doing fine so i think i'm just gonna skip the trim for now i may be trimmed during my next relaxer routine so that's it for my trims currently i am i think two weeks post relaxer if i am not mistaken yeah two weeks post relaxer and you may be wondering two weeks did i not just post my relaxer routine video like a few days back hmm. guys if you know what transpired between like i said i promised you guys a relaxer story time video and a heat styling story time video something like that those videos are going to be coming up very soon so that you guys get the beats and bobs the behind the scenes of everything that transpired on that very day and so that you get the gist of all the crazy things that happened behind what you saw on my relaxer routine video or my heat styling video you know when you watch that video everything came out fine for smooth sailing from beginning to the end the blow dry and flat ironing but just stay tuned, all right? You guys are going to get the full gist, the full story of the crazy things that happened. You know, just stay tuned. You get the full gist when that video comes out, okay? So yeah, like I said, my hair is two weeks post relaxer. And this is how my roots are looking currently at two weeks post relaxer. I'll say they are still holding on. They are doing well. This is how my hair is looking like at the moment. So my hair has been flat ironed and in this state for I think a week now. So I have been able to maintain my hair 
in this form like straight form by just putting my hair in a bun not just a bun a twisted bun maybe i'm going to make a separate video on how i'm styling my hair right now to keep my hair straight like this so please do check out for that video is going to come out very soon at this point i feel like i promised you guys so many videos and I really have to try and push out everything I promised you guys, okay? So just stay tuned. Yeah, so guys, that's it for the relaxer update on my own process there, how I corrected it, my own process, another process there. My hair is better now, fully relaxed, healthy, shiny, dark. I didn't do anything new, still the same products I've been using, the same relaxer. The same hair tools, everything was the same. The only thing I changed was my deep conditioning routine. So instead of using two deep conditioners, I used just one deep conditioner. I normally use the Perfective Mega Grow Deep Conditioner and the Organics Hair Mayonnaise Deep Conditioner. But for this relaxer routine, I used just the Organics Hair Mayonnaise Deep Conditioner. Outside that, every other thing is the same. And also, the fact that I used a new hairbrush. Now, I don't really know what to say about the hairbrush right now. I'm gonna make it separate video. So here I am, promise you guys another video again, but like I said, you'll stay tuned. So I'm gonna make a separate video, giving a detailed review about the hairbrush because I don't know, like, this. I don't even know where to place a hairbrush. Anyways, it has its pros and cons, so just stay tuned. I'll share all those with you guys in that video. So if there's anything you want to know concerning my relaxer routine, the products I use, about my hair journey in general, please make sure to drop the questions in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. So yeah guys, if you watched this video this far and you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you are new here and you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing to join the family and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be the first to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So yeah guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!